What is up YouTube? It is the Villa Outdoors here. Today is May 2nd of 2021. I am here at a lake in Berks County, Pennsylvania. Now this lake you can't use a uh, boat or kayak or any sort of watercraft so we're going to be hitting the banks today. I got two different setups with me. I got my spinning setup and my bait casting setup. This is a St. Croix Triumph 6 foot with a Pen Fierce 2, I believe this is a 3000 size reel. And then I got the SLX 150 on here with a um, favorite six stick. And that has also has 12 pound line on it. We're gonna be starting off with a uh, Z-Man Chatterbait black and blue 1 4 ounce. And then we got a, a Zoom uh, Senko on here, black and blue. Water is a bit stained today, so we're just going to cast around these rocks here to start and see what we can catch. The target species is largemouth bass, and hopefully there is some good fish to be caught today. Guys, Noah just caught the first fish of the day. Nice one. Nice fish, nice dude. Job. What was that, on the jig? Yeah. Nice job. All right, guys, well, there is our first largemouth bass of the day. Noah strikes first blood on the, the black and blue jig. It's a nice solid one and a half, probably. Not a bad one. You want to picture it or no? Yeah, I'll take it. All right. We're going to get a picture of this guy, and then we're going to let him go. Nice fish right there. All right, Noah's going to go ahead and release his fish here. Oh yeah, she is good to go. First spot, first fish. Now it's my turn. Alright guys, I still have yet to catch my first fish. I've been still throwing around the chatterbait and the Sanko. Noah has just got the one so far. We're just about finishing fishing up these rocks right now. Got in the water a little bit. Let's see if I uh, we can um, get some better casts out there. Fishing these flats with some nice vegetation on them. I'm gonna grab my Skanko rod. See if we can pull one up on these grasses. All right guys, we have made it down to the dam. Water gets pretty deep here, so we're not gonna be in the water too, too much. Um, but we're gonna continue throwing the chatterbait try and work this along the bottom see if we get thumped and uh, yeah let's get to fishing nice easy cast let it sink down a little bit because I don't know how deep it is here probably pretty darn deep so I'm just gonna start working this rod tip down just a nice slow steady retrieve hopefully we get demolished here in a minute All right guys, we have made the venture down to the bottom of the dam here. And we are gonna try and catch some fish down here. We already got some, some herons down here. That's a good sign that there might be some fish here. Got some nice running water. Instead of the still wind-driven water that we were fishing above. So hopefully there's gonna be some nice fish down here maybe even some smallmouth bass now I believe this is the maiden creek that this runs into so hopefully we can get some good ones out of here all right guys well we're down from the dam a little bit fishing this creek here water's pretty deep we got a little little jig tied on right now We've got green pumpkin and blue pattern with a little rage tail on the back imitating some crayfish that are in this creek here. Which is hopefully what these fish are feeding on. And we're trying to catch some smallmouth and largemouth bass out of this creek. So far, Noah has only caught one fish and I have caught zero. And that one fish that Noah caught, that was in the beginning of the video when we were fishing the actual uh, lake portion. Now we were down at the creek. None of us had had um, any real strong bites yet. 
hopefully we can uh, connect with some fish soon. Got some sporadic rain in the area. Not raining real hard, but um, just don't want to get anything too wet that I can't use it. Speaking of the camera. Guys, we got a fish on here. It feels like a good one. Oh yeah. Get down, get down, stay down. He's running at me. Oh, a smallie, small. Oh, that is definitely my PV smallie right there. Look at that fish, guys. On the jiggeroni. Look at that. Beautiful little football there. Awesome fish. Right on the side of the mouth with that jig. Where is that hook at? Let's go. Help from the bank here. Check out this guy. There you go. There you go guys, nice little smallmouth there. Gotta get a picture of this guy and let him go. Alright guys, nice healthy smallmouth from this creek here. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. Nice little football there. Just gonna get her back in the water. Oh, she was ready to go. <laughs> now I tried to pitch it right back at him. All right, well that is our first, my first fish of the day. Nice little smallmouth bass. Maybe we'll walk down this creek a bit further and see if we can get one more or so. Right. Came on nice little um, green pumpkin jig with a blue accent on the bottom. And then we just got a little uh, rage crawl on the back there. And he came out and smoked that uh, jig right in the middle of this this creek here, casting up against the banks as close to those opposite field rocks I can get. Right in the middle, he came and crushed it. I felt a little tap before, and Noah was over here thinking I was crazy, but there's definitely fish in this creek. Just a matter of um, getting them to bite. We saw some crayfish in the middle of the creek when we were under the dam. So, try to match the hatch, and no way, that might have been another fish. Um, tried to match the hatch, and it produced. I'm just thinking everything's a fish now. I'm just going crazy. Hook sets left and right, as long as we don't get snagged. Guys, we got another fish on here. Another one. This one feels just as nice, if not nicer. Keep the pressure on him. Oh, he's, he's a bit smaller. He's, he's just as feisty, though. Dude, that's Another nice smallmouth from this creek. They're just loving this jig. There we go guys. Slightly smaller smallmouth than that last one was, but it put up a good fight. He's got some little little insects in his mouth there. Not a bad fish, I will take it. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and let a little smallmouth go here. He's ready. Numbro doso. Alright, <laughs> all in the same jig so far. Guys, we got another one. I don't know how big this one is yet. Gonna keep the pressure on him. Let's put up a good fight. Now, this one's about the same size as that other one. Eh, it's a bit bigger. There he is, on the old jiggeroni. That's not the size. 
No, we, we want bigger than this, but this isn't a bad fish. This spot has been producing well here. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and release our smallmouth bass here. Third fish of the day for me. I've only caught smallmouth in this creek after getting skunked at the lake, but nice smallmouth there. All right, time to release this guy. There he goes. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for today's episode of The Ville Outdoors. We started today um, fishing the main lake. Uh, didn't have too much luck there. Noah caught a fish pretty quick, but after that we didn't have many bites at all. Um, fished around the dam, and then we saw this spot down here just below the dam, and it looked real juicy. Came down here, didn't have any bites. Walked down the creek some more, throwing some jigs, and we ended up catching a few decent sized smallmouth, nothing crazy huge, but some decent sized ones. I ended up breaking off that jig that I was using and I was forced to throw a, a Ned rig and I didn't get any bites on the Ned rig and I just broke that off because there's lots of rocks down here. So since I have nothing really left to fish with, that is going to do it for today's episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you want to see more videos like this going out into some different spots and doing some bass fishing feel free to let me know in the comments below if you're new here please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next episode of the ville outdoors